And sup guys, welcome back to another episode of Marvel Card Collecting and Investing with me, Ginger Man Cards. And today, we've uh, finally got together and we're with Vala Comics. How are you, my friend? I'm making it, dude. I'm very honoured to be able to make this video with you. I know we've been talking about it for a month, maybe two months, if not too long. long. <laughs> way, way too long. Uh, and we're both dads, so we're <laughs> always trying to fit in around our schedules and uh, yeah we finally made it uh but yeah we're, we're pumped we're going to be talking about some beautiful cards very very close to my heart <laughs> um and very close to yours right <laughs> um so we're looking at this i mean these cards are spread across three sets um but you can see in uh on the screen now the beautiful gold foiling beautiful gold borders um and the, it's the 75th card so Oh, look at that Jean Grey right there. Um, so yeah, as I said, spread across three sets, 2014 Marvel Universe, uh, 2014 Dangerous Divas Series 2, and then the 75th anniversary set. Um, and yeah, we just wanted to come together and talk about these cards, because I think they're awesome. Do you? <laughs> yeah. Um, and just, yeah, just really give our story and kind of a bit of an update as to where you're at, where I'm at with these cards. I think that's that's why we're doing the video, right? Right, for sure. And then the, talk about a hunt. Ah, uh, yeah, the hunt. That's the big question here, isn't it? <laughs> to start building this set, it's not easy. It's not something that you can just go on eBay and start cherry picking and building it. Like you've got to really grind and use your resources and networks in order to chuck yeah. some do it. Yes, sir. Um, and yeah, I think mean, you've done an amazing job. But we'll, we'll get into that in a second. So I. From from my end, I started collecting these cards as some of you already know. Um, probably a year, I want to say a year ago, maybe maybe nine months, something like that. Um, and then I started collecting these, and I for some reason I started to go fairly hard, <laughs> <laughs> and um, I would pick up whatever I could on eBay, and that was literally my only way of getting these cards was via eBay. Um, and then send them to a friend who's in the US. So thank you very much for watching. You know who you are. Um, so yeah, that was what I did. And it wasn't any in particular character at the time. It was purely a case of just finding anyone because I thought they were awesome. And every single one, I was like, wow, look at this artwork. Um, so yeah, started creating a spreadsheet, which you've seen. <laughs> and uh, yeah, got, got quite a way through uh, collecting some of these cards but yeah when did you find out about this set or these cards in particular well honestly through instagram because really? when i was collecting the base of my knowledge was coming from people with a group that were posting their cards and their sets on instagram so that's where i started getting my knowledge for it but in particular there's a black card black cat card out of the royal foils that and that card's killer right yeah it's amazing portrait of her it's just a beautiful black cat card well, then you actually made a post on Instagram of the black car, uh, gold foil. And then I was like, that's the same artwork, but it is a full body picture of her. And the artwork's better. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, why am I going to go chase that numbered out of 100 card when this one's numbered out of 75 and the artwork's better? Yeah. And it's, wasn't, it's not a quick Google search either to see what cards are in this set. Because as you said, it's scattered throughout three sets. So for you to start making a checklist of what cards go for what set, you've got to have three different checklists all at the same time and then yeah. cross each other to make a master checklist of one through 75. Yep. Incredible. Right. So was, it, was this the first, like, so you said to me you got into cards six months ago. Was this like the first set you went after? Or was there other like key things that you were picking up? Well, the first set that I went after was Marvel Masterpiece 18 by Simon Bianchi, which is just amazing. The artwork out of the Marvel Masterpiece on that one is phenomenal. Amen. So I got into cards chasing that set yep. and liquidating some comic books and was able to purchase the complete 1 through 90 set of Marvel Masterpiece. So from there, I was just starting to cherry pick different characters here and there, just cards that I like the artwork on. Well, then we get to these, a lot of the cards is really definitive artwork for the character. And if it's contained within one set, well, then I can build a set and I don't have to cherry pick from 2007, 2012, 2016. Yep. So, so 
go on. I can just build this set and be content with the representations of the character or like look at this Morbius, right? So this Morbius by Gabriel Del Otto and it's incredible. In fact, the artwork that's on this card, there's a comic book cover with the yep. same art. And it's just dope. Like I can't think of another Morbius card that is better than this one. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Hundred percent. And it goes like that through, you know, multiple cards in this set. You have the Morbius, then you have this Captain America, which is just a special card by itself. That that alone, like that for me is one of the best Captain Americas. Like, I, and then people are going to go, no. <laughs> I just think it's so nice, so special. No, it is. Go, go on Instagram on like Fourth of July. <laughs> it's people, up there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, people are going wild. Like, uh, Collection Kings, he yeah. actually three of these. So on Fourth of July this past year, he's just got three of them looking beautiful right by each other. Yep. And so yeah, just just a quick side note: Collection Kings pays a a, a big part in these cards in particular because. Many years ago, he collected the whole set, right? Right. Um, and he's just an awesome collector and just respect to that guy. I'm going to try and get him on at some point, but um, yeah, he plays an important part. That'll be awesome. And then, like, pick up this Angela card. It's the same thing. Like, there's maybe a handful of Angela cards because she's not a character for Marvel cards. But what's better than this? You tell me. Colors pop. Beautiful. That purple. That's how you do that. So good. So, so good. Yeah, man. So, um, yeah, just going back to my story then, and then we'll get on to <laughs> like, what you've been doing because <laughs> it's awesome. very cool. Um, so, yeah, as I said, nine months ago, I started collecting these, started building, building. Well, I kept it very quiet. And then I started posting some pictures, <laughs> which was a really bad decision. <laughs> um, I regret doing that now, I have to say, but there you go. Here we are. Um, so my my aim was to fully complete the set. So I ended up buying a complete set of the Dangerous Divas. So the whole 25 from eBay, someone posted it and I had to snatch it within right. a couple of days. It was a lot of money for me, probably too much money for me at the time. But I thought in my gut I had to do it <laughs> if I was going to be able to go after the set. So once I got that, um, I thought, right, now is the time. I need to go hard this and I need to complete the set. So I ended up picking up ones and twos here and there every so often. Um, <laughs> look at that Spider-Man. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I just did, uh, stopped my uh, train of thought. But yeah, picking up ones and twos. And then I thought, all right. I am stuck. <laughs> I cannot pick up any more. Talking to a few different guys, I didn't have much to trade, didn't have much cash at all. Um, oh, look at that Black Bolt. I, I love that Black Bolt. I think that's a superb card. It, it, the white on gold. Oh. Like that, the white on gold. Yep. You can put that in a one touch, put it to the side, and then you're set with that. Definitely. Definitely, man. Even the same thing with this better Ray Bill. Yep. Beautiful. So, so nice. Um, so, yeah, got got to, I reckon I got to, I don't know how many cards I got to in the end. Maybe it was, maybe it was 60, 65, something like mm -hmm. that. Um, and then we started talking. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, I, I, I was frustrated at the time. A few different family things, family reasons, and um, but yeah, base. We came to a deal, didn't we? We did. We did. All these cards, uh, the the cards that I amassed at the time, and uh, I think we we're both pretty happy. And now, here we are. Like you, you're absolutely smashing it. And I was really pleased that they went to you. I was really, really happy about. It. I think that's really important. Like yeah. I took a lot of time getting them together. And you're cherishing them, and you're even going one step further and trying to complete it, which is what I ultimately wanted to do, but couldn't fund it. Right. So, um, yeah, tell me about your story. And uh, th I just think that's one thing that's really important with the cards. You know, like it takes a lot of work to build a set, and it can't be a flash in the pan because you're not going to get it done in a day. Like you've cool. got to build that set. You've got to want it. <laughs> yeah, you have. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, like, I started looking into. I'm trying to find what. Well, 
ones that I could because for a while you couldn't find any. Yeah. Like if you go on, you did your eBay search and everything like that, they just weren't existed. And then they were also overlooked for a long time. Like for a while, almost the whole set would sit on eBay and nobody wanted it because it was super cheap. And then people yep. started it up and then you would just never see them get listed again. So for a while, it was, you just got what was available. So if one get listed, then you just have to pick it up. Mm, absolutely. And that's what I did start it off doing was just wait for ones to get listed and then pick one up individually. And then kind of like what you did, I was able to find a seller that had about 12, it was about almost 20 cards and he had them all listed individually. So I messaged him and said like, Hey, can we work out a bulk deal? And we actually were able to work out our bulk deal to where I got 20 cards in one swoop. And most of them came from the Rittenhouse set. So the ones like, say, this Dark Hawk was in this set. Uh, and Widow was in Universe, like Ant Man. Ant Man's in the Rittenhouse set. So for, from the 75th anniversary set, yeah. Correct. Yeah, yeah. the 70, 75th. Uh, Marvel, Boy, Marvel Boy came from it. Man, I haven't even seen that Marvel Boy. No joke. I've never seen it. Really? No. Uh, well, <laughs> wow. Have you seen Roger? Have you seen the Ghost Rider? Again, I have, but <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> so nice. So the the Ghost Rider is, in my opinion, like one of the top two cards within the whole set. Really? Yeah, because it, it's by uh Clayton Crane, mm -hmm. who's like a hugely famous comic book artist. Like a lot of people, he's up there with Todd McFarlane. He's a modern Todd McFarlane. Yep. So have his artwork featured in the set to me is really special. And this, you can't beat that, man. Mm -hmm. It's so subtle. So cool. Right. Nice. And that Nick Fury one is great. It's good Nick Fury. But I guess, so I got that set knocked out. And then natu naturally I started reaching out to other people seeing if they would have any doubles. So I think at that point, that's whenever I had reached out to you to see if you had any doubles. And then you were just kind of like tongue in cheek, like, well, I might have a lot of them available. <laughs> so we had waited like what, two months for you to see what kind of doubles you might have. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So when, uh, whenever you got your doubles, naturally we talked and then I was making an offer to pick up the doubles that you had. And through that conversation, you were like, well, I might cash out. Like, well, hold on. <laughs> if you do, let's talk about it. We'll talk about it seriously and we'll figure yeah. something <laughs> Like, it was a long, it was a long two weeks <laughs> before, yeah. before I, uh, yeah. Like, this is probably my favorite electric card. Oh, it's superb. Absolutely superb. I love that. And like you mentioned it earlier, but, you know, this is at a time when PMGs were just absolutely phenomenal prices. Right. Like when I first started buying these in particular. And I was like looking, and uh, I should mention Sketchcard Hive, you know, some of the other guys that we really started talking, Marvel Pack Fresh crew back in the day. Yeah. You know, that's like how we kind of got to, to me purchasing some of these cards. But yeah, like just something different, you know what I mean? Right. Not, not what everyone else is going for. And I think that's an important thing, isn't it? Oh, for sure. Because it's easy to get caught up in the trend, which PMGs are trendy. That's, PMGs are what bring people to the table. And that's yep. fine. Because whatever gets you to the table, that makes you welcome. It, you stay for however long you want to. Exactly. And that's really something like this makes it special. So with PMGs, people get caught up with the foiling of it, which is great. And this set, you covered it with the gold border. So you've got your foiling and each one being numbered out of 75. So you still have that, that chase incentive, you know, it's not like an insert that's not numbered where it could be 500 of them, could be a hundred of them, could be short print, could be super short print. Yep. So you've got the serial number chase in it as well. hundred percent. Can you just show the captain Britain for a second? Yeah. So I don't know if you know, but the logo behind this video is actually based on this card. 
So that's how special that one was to me. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I created the logo. So Did you keep a Captain Britain for yourself? What's that? Did you keep a Captain Britain for yourself? Um, honestly, I don't even know. <laughs> wow. uh, I'm sure I did. Somewhere. Man, that's bad, isn't it? I'm pretty sure I did. There's my girl. Two storms. Right. Bianchi as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Bianchi did the storm and the mystique in the set. And the mystique is just sublime. Man, you know what's great about mystique cards? They always incorporate skulls into it. Mm -hmm. Like there's always some type of skull hidden in there in some capacity. Yep. Like say uh, with this invisible woman card, it's simple, but it's elegant. You know, the delivery of that card is just freaking great. It is. It is. Can I have a look at that Wonder Man? Like some of these, genuinely, I haven't seen. <laughs> so this is, this is like uh, card porn for me. <laughs> that is nice as well. Jeez. Yeah, that's, that's a great card. Unreal, man. Do you, would you would you care in sharing how far away you are? I, if you don't mind, you don't have to. By the way, at all. So as of this video, I'm only missing six. So I'm fifty nine out of seventy five. Yep. Um, the ones that I need are Daredevil, Deadpool, Silver Surfer, Moon Knight, Nightcrawler, Gambit. Yeah. Silver Surfer seems to be one of the harder ones to find currently, but uh turn on. Look at that death strike. Such a banger. Now this one is a great Thanos card. It is. It is. Andy Park. And you got Nova. A lot of people I've seen a few people post about this card whenever they announced the Nova was going to be an MCU movie. Yeah, yeah quite a few people have that, yeah. <laughs> but Ed McGinnis, definitely. It's a great card. Oh, there's a mystique we were just talking about. Uh, that is just sublime. Absolutely sublime. Look at that X. And it was so weird whenever you were posting these because, like, I liked the method to your madness where you would be posting a different gold foil every day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen because it's not an easy Google search either. You can't Google what the cards look like. No, and this is what I mean. I haven't seen some of these. Mm -hmm. Gen genuinely, never seen a picture. So yeah, yeah. There you go. Nice death lock as well. Now, the, the Wolverine's cool, but the artwork's been used multiple times for multiple cards. Mm -hmm. So it does take away from that, but it's still cool to have it within the set with the, yeah. with the fancy eBay purchase. Oh, uh, nice. Was it good? Was it? Uh, like... no. It hurt my soul a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, so, like, I'm, I know you, as well as I do, you know it, you fix this you know as well as i do that chasing this set isn't easy and a lot of people will kind of talk down to you for pursuing it yep because it is expensive and sometimes they get overhyped or they can be considered just something that would be overpaid for not worth it etc so with this card right it came to ebay auction well i already knew that i was going for it because i've got to build the set so same thing, you know, you've got your friends that may not want the same card or they may think that you're crazy for going for it. After the auction ended, which I won, because I made sure I was going to win it with a stupid, stupid bid. <laughs> the next in a group chat, three guys in the same group chat were like, yeah, I bid on that card. <laughs> like, well, well you, guys. <laughs> That's how I know I've made the right choice going for it. They've got your Loki. Sick. 
Mayhew. Mike Mayhew is another really big comic book artist. Now, the Magic card, I love this. It, oh, it it really pops in hand, doesn't it? It is just... And that's the thing with some of these. Some of them you'll see images of, and it's like, and that looks okay, but then you get it in hand, and it's a game changer. Yeah. And notice, some. I think that card especially, you look at the gold borders, some of them are slanted. I don't know if you can see some of them, but mm -hmm. like the, the cut of the card on every card is sometimes different. Yeah. You've probably seen it, but it, it's really, really strange. It's like, almost like a miscut. Yeah. Yeah. That's a banger. Right. I, I love the sharks. Like, it doesn't seem like with the Punisher character at all, but it just gives it that next level. Yeah. Sith is an amazing card. This is making me cry. I, I'm regretting <laughs> everything. <laughs> <laughs> no joke. Oh, God damn. Well, because I'm overzealous, still got this stack of doubles. Uh, maybe that's a come up with a reverse deal. Oh, has that ever happened? Yeah, it probably has. <laughs> Doctor Voodoo, nice. Now, I will say, as of right now, this one is listed on eBay, like for super. There's a few that listed since our entity that you can actually pick up on really good deals. Yeah, nice. The vision wheat. It's good. I love that wasp as well. Another <laughs> right. This is one another one that you have to see in person to appreciate. Mm -hmm. And that's like you were talking about. Um, I asked you earlier on, and if you're right to share, but like, will you consider getting these graded um, and things like that? Oh. In a perfect world, yes, but that would also be very costly to get the set graded. And two, it would also be a blow with how rare they are. Say if you have a really rare one, like this rocket, to mm. be fine rocket, right? Well, if I get this graded and it comes back a six, but everything comes back an eight, it's going to drive me crazy. Yeah. It's not a quick fix. Yeah. So it has the potential to maybe one day be graded as a set. If I finish the set, I don't know. You will finish the set. We're going to help you finish the set. <laughs> People watching are going to help. I hope so. Someone will just be like, I got a Daredevil that I'm not doing anything with. Yeah. This guy, come on. <laughs> okay. Nice whole thing, yeah. Have you seen uh, the San Diego Comic Con cards that they just released with the uh -huh. foiling? Oh, yes. I saw one today. Yep. Yeah, they've got the new uh, Comic Con with that purple foil for Hawkeye. Mm -hmm. that cool. It's very cool. Love Type. that typhoid. This is one. This one's yours. <laughs> so cool, man! <laughs> it, it really back down a thing. <laughs> and then we. Uh, get... What did I do? So with Goblin. I was not crazy about the artwork on this card at all at first. I thought they could have went with a million different creative ideas and it'd be better. Yep. I'll show you something. So when you flip it over, it kind of creates the full size image versus on the front of the card, it's more zoomed in and centered around the character. Well, on this card, when you flip it over and check it out, Look there's who that is. He's standing on top of Venom. So cool, man. And with this one, it paired with the 22, uh, 2012 Deadliest Villains. Nice. From what comic, from what comic book is that? Is uh, it... Do not get me line, but I will, I will find out for you. <laughs> I want to it looks like it would be from the Anni Annihilation series. Yep. Just because... Well, I mean, of... You would know, not <laughs> better than me. <laughs> um, but to... don't get me line. This artist, he's another huge one for comic books. Like, say, Ultimate Fallout 4, the first appearance of Miles Morales. Well, there's a variant to that comic book cover that's in insanely valuable, right? Yep. Um, he's the artist that did that comic book. So he's really good at adding depth and dimension to his illustrations. 
and he's done quite a few of the cards within this set. Um, even, say, the 2015 Juggernaut, you know, the, yep. the one where he's charging, he did the artwork on that card. Wow. And that, that was one that when I first got into cards, I singled out, I'm like, I'm going to get a red PMG of that just with color match. Yeah, man. Haven't done it yet. On my See, list. That's, that's where your comic book knowledge is so, so vital, so key. Uh, well, I appreciate that compliment. Yeah, man. It's, right. We're going to end up talking about comic cuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's another story in itself. Wow. Is, I love comic cuts. Nice, Emma. Frost. Dude, God, some... I think so cool, we threw it. I was wrong. That's Sunfire. I was going to say, we're, we're missing some. Yeah. yeah. Man, now, Man Thing is a character that hasn't had too many cards, is it? Not from, not from what I know. Um, again, not a character I've followed closely, but Arthur yeah. Adams as well. He's done some superb. Oh. And, uh, I can't think of his name offhand, but there's an Instagram account where the collector solely collects Arthur Adams art. Really? So all he posts is his artwork and card wow. for it. It's killer. I think Arthur Adams did uh, the Wolverine. Yeah, I did. He did. Yep. You're right. Such a clean domino, man. Mm. Eventually, I'll get Deadpool and <laughs> Domino. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be looking cool. Yes, you will. This is a really nice Black Panther as well. It's it on. I would say on the picture now is not. It doesn't represent how it looks in hand from from my experience it, anyway. It it did it right. It's one of those things because like how it gets picked up on camera, it looks very fuzzy, kind of muffled, and lost in translation. Yeah. But when you have it in person, it's a game changer. Like for a Black Panther collector, that this would have to be in your top five Black Panther collection. And if David, David's watching, because this guy, I don't know if you know David on Instagram, but I told you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, it's a banger. Same thing with Odin. Not too much love gets shown for Odin, but he's got yeah. his. I'm not familiar with that artist. But and see, this is what I mean. So when you flip it over and how you have that full image on the background, mm. it just really shows the art. Now this, I, I might. I I put that in my top five from this set, without question. This yeah. card, freaking amazing. Doesn't matter if you want the set or anything. This card's like, <laughs> oh, I think this is an Addy. Yeah, this is an Addy Granov card. But look at her. It's so good. I'm going to have to get that graded. Like, if you're watching, looking at this card in particular, and it makes you think, oh, I want this set, I get it. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I regret it. <laughs> this sick iron. Oh, that's nice. I've not really seen this one. That is really nice. The, the Mr. Fantastic. This is not, nice. Too. It's not really a fantastic card. <laughs> it's you, it, you gotta you, have. <laughs> yeah. You've seen the artwork a lot, that one in particular. Yeah. And the, the foiling actually takes away from this card because it's cutting out him using his power. Hmm. Red She-Hulk. Not red enough for me. <laughs> that's my only. That's my only. Uh, <laughs> that's my only disappointment with this one. Otherwise, it's nice. Well, there's a green one that makes up for it. Yes, there is. Uh, now this one. Wow. Bam. I have yeah. not seen that either. So wow, congrats. This one, in my opinion, is the best card in this whole set. Really, you're putting it number one. 
with, I won't even bet nine. Yeah, this is number one. In this we need to do a poll. Let's do a poll. Okay. Let's do a poll at some point. For sure. Wow. But yeah, people that don't care about these, they talked about this card. They're like, I would get that card. I would too, buddy. <laughs> uh, and again, this is a Clayton Crane. And that's what makes it really special. And and that played a big part in, you know, the artist for this card in particular. Has that played a big part for you? Yeah, it did. Um, yeah. Well, that's one of my incentives was whenever I was able to start looking into the cards and it would show different artists on different cards. And I'm casually sc scrolling and I see Clayton Crane. Yep. What? Clayton Crane did a Marvel card? And then I was like, well, I got to find this one. And it, like, probably from day one, I was hunting for this card. And wow. everybody that was in my, my groups that knew that I was building this set, I was like, Carnage and Ghost are the best cards. And they're like, okay, Wolverine and Spider Man. Like, no, listen to me. Ghost you're, you're, you are spot on. Like, that is superb. Like, in the game, character collecting, could you imagine a Carnage collector? Like, if there was a Carnage, like, I don't know if there are. If there is yeah. a collector, I'm sure there has to be. I'd sure love there is, yeah. I want to see what your collection looks like. But this card would have to be in, in their top three. I, I, yeah, but it has to be. I, <laughs> 100%. That is superb. Like, I was actually able to, I had a friend that was at Heroes Con, uh, Spidey. He saw this card in person and picked it up for me and he even said like that's the best carnage card i've ever seen there you go and spidey's saying that and that means something <laughs> right wow Jeez. have you got uh dr strange i do have dr strange i was gonna say there's some more to come right oh, that it, missing. That widow card yeah, nice that's another addy yep I love that card, man. Winter edition. I love it. A lot of people been on the hunt for this one. That's an absolute banger as well. <sighs> Greg Land, another big artist for comic books. And like, man, I haven't heard anyone talk about this Archangel. But I love it. Do you know why he uh, his suit's black and gray, right? Tell me. It's from the Uncanny X Force storyline. Okay. So Uncanny X Force is a team that consists of Wolverine, Deadpool, Phantom X, Psylocke, and they are really open about killing. Yep. And it's just a storyline that goes nuts. Uh, the storyline it ends up like they kill Apocalypse really early on, but Apocalypse implants Archangel with a. Uh, like implant that turns Archangel into Apocalypse. Nothing like the movie. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so cool, man. But yeah, it's it's super cool. And this artwork is actually straight from a comic book cover. It's from Ant Rank Force Number One. Wow. That's a special one. And we got that Star Lord. Love. Nick Lee. Now the Hulk, right? So the Hulk, initially, this is another card. I'm like, this card kind of sucks, you know? <laughs> like, there's nothing too special about it. But then when you zoom in on the back, you see that T-Rex? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I never knew that was there. So you've got, like, the whole war going on, T-Rex. I didn't realize that the Hulk was actually traveling through time. And that's what that card's representing. So I was like, all right, that's kind of cool. Jeez. Now what's been done, though? Is stick with the promo art so this wow. is wow so i've this, never seen this as well really no never seen it so this is a promo card for the set so you had two promo cards you had iron man which this one is like under five bucks if anyone yeah. wants to start there and then you have this one i can't i've never seen one ever <sighs> and i, I don't i'm being blind i can't Say a hundred percent, but I wouldn't be shocked if that's not Alex Ross art. Like if I'm if I'm wrong, I'll own. But how did you get that? eBay. <laughs> really? It's like twenty twenty bucks on eBay. I, I, for some reason, I've never seen one. Maybe I'm being British and uh, missing it completely. But 
no, like that's just how it happened. Like I have so I have so many save searches on eBay for the written house gold foils. It's insane. <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> like, I'm like, is this it? my heart skips a patter, and then I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it's sad when you wake up every morning. The first thing you do is not kiss your girlfriend. It's look at uh, <laughs> the save search. <laughs> well, that's what you do. You get still asleep. Check. Nothing's listed. All right, babe. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this is one of those things that somebody had listed it as just a gold foil. And I was like, all right, well, that's amazing. Hey. Oh, you, you see it there, huh? We'll get through Misty Night real quick because it's Misty Night. Yeah, the Doctor Strange. Oh my God. That is incredible. Again, never seen this ever anywhere. And this was a tough one to track down. How did you get it? Facebook. Yeah, through the Facebook group. Yeah. Uh, one person was just like in a in a comment. They said, "Hey, I have Doctor Strange." Well, <laughs> blew him up and was like, "Hey, buddy." <laughs> My God. You want to help that Doctor? Wow. Uh, which is, you know, you probably shouldn't do that, but. An opportunity, you see an opportunity, yeah, take it. And it wasn't easy either. Like, me and that dude talked for two months because he was like, I don't really want to know. I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to be put like kind of like what I did with you. It's like, well, I'm not yeah. going to be, but I will let you know that I'm highly, highly interested because I'm building the set. And then eventually he was like, Well, I want you to, just, I want to see you finish the set. That's it. Like, thank God. Yeah. Man, that's a cool card. Okay. Would probably try to charge eight hundred dollars for that card. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> he just did. <laughs> Who did the art on that one? I've never heard of that artist. Yeah, right. Lucio Paro. And I think that's the only art they did for the set. But still, again, if you're a character, and that's what makes the set special, is if you're a character collector. Anybody that's a character collector and one of these cards is for your character, you yep. got to Like one of the ones that I'm missing is Gambit, and I know several Gambit collectors that they have them. They're not giving them up either. <laughs> yeah. Wow, man. The better Ray. There she is. That's the She Hulk. That's a super She Hulk as well. Right. Doesn't Stacking Gems have like three of these? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Stacking oh, the Gems. He Hulk is his bay. I get it. Oh, another Eddie. That's what, yeah. that's what makes the Dangerous Diva set really special. It is, yeah. Like if I would say, if you were going to single out one of the sets out of the three that this whole master set consists of, it would be Dangerous Divas. Yeah. Like all the arts, just too special. That is a very nice Galactus. It really is. Addy. I didn't realize how much artwork Addy did for this set. Until... Yeah, when you see it all together like this, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Then there's that Human Torch. That's good. By Brian Hitch. Now, here's the card that started it all. Mm. Love this card. Loads of people love this card, too. Very special. I'll probably get... This would be in my stack to get graded. Yeah. Another one that was tough to track down was Namor. Wow. Never seen that one. Actually, yeah, I did. Ken Lashley. And that, another card, this artwork's been reused an abundance of times, so it kind of takes yeah. away, but so cool. Doom. Mm -hmm. It's a sweet Doom. Very cool. X-23. The Cyclops is one of the best Cyclops cards. Addy. Again. Yeah. Kill, kills it. <laughs> the Iron Man. Another thing, the Cold Fool takes away from it, but Iron Man's actually floating through a hall of armor. Yeah, see, yeah. It's not the best Iron Man. No. It, but it's, well, if yeah. you had... 
between that one or this one, which card would you rather have? Mm. I don't know. The promo is classic. Yeah, the promo is classic. I think the art design is a yeah. little a sleek looking jubilee love that jubilee and winter soldier winter soldier came from you and that was one of the most card the biggest cards i was excited to get from you really did that this one was not easy to track down mm, i got really lucky with that one <laughs> really lucky so that's my set um with any of these did you pack pull any of these no, I did not. Nope. Everything from literally everything from eBay that I purchased. Yeah. So um, yeah, extortionate. Shame for you. Because I'm crazy. This is just my stack of doubles. <laughs> I think we need to talk after the show, like, because uh, genuinely, I am feeling so much regret. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Well, there they are. <laughs> so cool, man. So, so cool. So, is this what you're going after now? That's what you want to complete first before you go into anything else? Or what's your plans? Well, because it's so hard to find these cards. Yeah. I'm at a standstill. Like, I can't really do anything until another one's available. Yeah. You can believe that I've used every resource I possibly have at this point. So, I've just got to I wait. Know. I know. Yeah. So I'm just kind of at a standstill until one gets on. So I got to almost put it on pause. Like I'm actively looking, I'm actively searching, but because there's only a handful left that I need, I'm stuck with what my options are. Yep. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, you smashed it so far. So congratulations. I should, I'm not yet, but <laughs> for what you've, uh, what you've accomplished so far is, uh, impressive impressive in the short time you've done you've done it as well i would say well i, I appreciate that that does mean a lot so cool man but yeah that wraps this kind of episode up but uh, anything else you wanted to add i uh, mean we're good we covered it I'm yeah. excited. so i finally yeah. got to make a video and just appreciate the set and that means more than anything else yeah and that's it that's what we wanted to do is like bring bring the story and really appreciate this set because it's a it's a very special one to both you and me and uh, many other people out there. For sure. Loved it. Thanks for jumping on, mate. Oh, no problem. Thank you for having me, man. Marvel Cars, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Peace.